Yo, what's up? Real quickly, I just wanted to let you know we were having some technical difficulties with this one. Uh, Skype wasn't working, so we had to move the PlayStation chat on the PS4, and the audio quality wasn't on point for everyone. But look, just giving you a heads up, but please enjoy. But the last bit to, to close it off, uh, what can a PC learn from a console and what can a console learn from a PC? Um, I'm going to say it first, a console and going back to my first issue, all right, my first issue was the power setting thing, like where do you want the power to go? Being able to control that. Consoles <clears throat> can really learn from PC, PC's customization. Now. This crosses the territory on maybe even allowing uh, keyboard and mouse, right? Because mm. if you allow for the customization on a uh, graphic fidelity or frame rate level, then people might be reaching and saying, hey, I want to be able to control it the way uh, whenever I want. Now look, PC, PS4 and Xbox One, you could do mm. mouse and keyboard support, but you got to go through all kind of hoops to do it. But at the end of the day, keeping it simple, the whole graphic fidelity or frame rate thing where I can set the game to focus on frame rates over resolution or whatever. Cause I know Uncharted 4 can run at 60 on PS4, but you probably gonna, God forbid, run it at 720p. You know what I'm saying? Because of all yeah. the craziness that happens in Uncharted 4, the, you know, the explosions to the details, like, all that might have to be toned down to achieve 60 frames and Sony wouldn't ship the game like that And I remember when we were talking about this on gaming talk where you said if Xbox Scorpio goes a Hybrid route of pressing a button and going to Windows 10 if you never want to yeah. see The PC side of things like what I'm talking about the whole settings the advanced settings never click on the advanced setting tab You know, it'll have general yeah. settings and then they have another tab right under it saying advanced settings. You go to advanced settings and you see all these these sliders, you know what I mean? And you you can basically create your own crystal dynamics type uh, thing where they say you got a 60 frames per second mode, you got a 4K mode, you got this mode, where well, you can do it all yourself now by just sliding yeah. stuff. And I think they consoles can learn that from PC. I'm just talking about the graphic fidelity and resolution, um, but definitely consoles can, can learn that from PC. They can do it. They basically are PCs, but um, your turn. <laughs> well, uh, there, uh, that that's a double-edged sword, I think, because if you, you think add so? that many, I think so, because if you add that many settings in there, you start losing the simplicity. Yeah. yeah well, they'll um, be there also, for... Also, Okay, go ahead. Also, the optimization on the games from the developers won't be as good mm. if they had that many settings. Man. Think about it. They'd get lazy. They'd be like, you know what? If you don't like it, change your settings to this then. Take this off then. And, 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 and they wouldn't want to optimize the game that, for the best they can for that one console. Wow. Changing resolution and frame rate, that's just two little things that they can, they can optimize for those two. But when you start mm. adding all these extra uh, settings, like your your shadow detail, your, your FX, your, 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 you know, your, um, I, I, I'm just throwing some off there. Or, yeah. or V-Sync even, if you want to turn V-Sync on or off, you start adding too much. And when you do that, uh, you're making it harder for developers to optimize their game for that one console and, 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 and the simplicity is lost. Mm, mm. Well, let me say this then. I, that's why I think it's a double-edged sword on that. You know what then? You, you changed my mind as far as how they can implement this. Okay, going back to Crystal Dynamics and going back to Niho developer and Horizon Zero Dawn, a PlayStation exclusive coming out next week, they are gonna actually add in pro support to, well, they already got pro support, but they're gonna add in another layer of pro support where it focuses on frame rate. We don't know what that means. We don't know if we're about to get a higher, like uncapped 1080p uh, Horizon Zero Dawn option. We don't know. Sure. But I'm I'm leaning on that. It's gonna be 1080p on pro and uncapped frame rate. Um, I'm and it's gonna be probably between 45 and 50. Uh, and and that's gonna be interesting if they add that yeah. feature. But they did confirm that with Digital Foundry. But my whole thing is if they can do if every game can go the route of uh, Crystal Dynamics and Neho and 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 even um even uh Final Fantasy. 
uh, going the route of giving us three SKUs to put the game on. And it'll, 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 it'll please me because then you'll have a guy going dynamic resolution with 60 frames, achieving 60 frames, and our 4K at 30. And then you you have the like every developer doing that have SKUs yeah. on their games optimized for the console so that like we won't be messing with no shadow detail whatever this that and the other yeah. it'll be optimized like you were talking about and i guess yeah. i will get what i want i'll get the option to go higher frame rate or higher resolution but it'll be optimized for that platform yeah, for those two yeah mm -hmm. yeah wow. a good example a good example of that is knack mm. uh, right when you start the game as soon as this game starts up it gives you the option, two options only. It gives you the options for the 60 FPS, the frame rate, with a lower, you know, the standard resolution. Yes. Or you get your 4K, well, not true 4K, because yeah. I'll get you out for that. But you know what I mean, the oh. higher resolution, but with 30 FPS. And that yeah. should honestly be the only options to keep that simplicity when it comes to gaming on console. Yeah. I would all I would always go for a dynamic resolution with 60 instead of trying to lock it at a, a number. Why? Because you're you're letting the hardware focus on you know the frame rate option, right? The high frame rate sure. options. The high frame mm -hmm. rate option will focus on the high frame rate, and the resolution would be the thing going all over the place. And yes. that might be a problem for some people. Like they'd like, why is this texture looking so sad? But yeah. but at the end <laughs> of the day, it, it, it's an option. A high frame rate option gives you dynamic resolutions to achieve 60 at all yep. times versus sure. the 4K 30. Like if you want the resolution to be always at that point, even three options here, check me out here. Resolution, uh, uh, dynamic resolution at 60, lock 60 or uh, whatever, real close to 60, if not 60, uh, one frame drops on heaviness, right? But another yeah. option at 1080p 30 and then another option at 4K 30. So you have three skills and now please me, Thou please the guy who wants the game to look the best at 4K. Yeah. Like that right there, man. I want that. Yeah. And it's happening with Pro, thankfully, but I want it for all games. For all of them, yeah. yeah. Mm. And, and there is some games that probably don't require it. Like, uh, what's that? A quick, I just got done playing it too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> It's it's a a quick shooter that they just did an update patch for 4K 60 FPS. A quick shooter. Uh, a quick Rezo shooter. Gun. Rezo oh, Gun. Oh, Rezo Gun. Yeah, that was yes, one they of the just beginning got their games. update, and it is beautiful, and it runs wow. at 60. Game oh, like wait, that, it just got it? I thought it was coming it later. Just, nope, I just started playing it two days ago, and uh, I played hardcore on it when I saw it on my 4K. It's just amazing how what they were able to pull pull off with true 4K. Wow. Um, at 60 FPS on that game. And Resogun, that, that developer, man, I've always loved their work. Yeah, they, I think it's House Smart. Job. Uh, house, I think it's how, I think that's what they, the, the, the developer is called, House Mark. But uh, don't quote me on that. I forget the name of the developer behind Resogun. I'm not too good with the developers. Oh. <laughs> that's just someone big like Screen X or, um, oh, I'm not even going to say that name. Yeah, just they're just you. You, you know, I feel you. Big, big name like Ubisoft <laughs> and Square Enix and all that stuff. Yeah, honestly, Activision is not a developer anymore. I don't see them as that. Yo, they they a little bit sad. Is that what you're trying they're to done. say? Yeah. They're done. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. So what uh, I think PC can learn from console. Uh, I know this is a hard one, no, Professor. I got nothing. I, I, I got know nothing. this. I'm just kidding. Me... No. no, no, no. I got one. I got one. <laughs> Okay, I, I joke around. Too. Okay, I think uh, what they should learn from them is uh, is the simplicity of it. Mm, mm. Um, I know uh, Alienware came out and and they and I they did release something to try to make it simple, uh, but at the same time you're taking away the customization of your PC. So you're kind of it's re it's really I I can't think of any way of doing it. Um, unless they made, you know, if Windows made like a gaming Windows where it's just you start it out, you know, you put your game, you know, you start your computer and it just takes you to an OS. It takes you to no. either the Windows 10. I hope not the Windows 10, but no. like straight to Steam and, 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 and you can switch back and forth. But No, no, wait, let me say this. You could do that, sure. though. I, I, my, um, 
you know, our friend Maslin, he told me that he can, you can set up a PC to where you turn it on and it goes straight to your Steam uh, OS. Um, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. But if you click on a game, some, you know, especially older games, it doesn't work. Oh. And then you have to figure out how to fix it. Mm. If they may, if they, if Steam were to kind of flush everything out and kind of, or even, you know, whatever service you're using, if you're going to put game in your store, make it work for it. Where, for, mm. you know, for Windows 10. And, and there's games, and I have many, I have a large library of games on Steam. And honestly, I can honestly say 75% of them work right away. Mm. But the other 25%, and I got 600 games. Wow. The other 20, yeah, that's how many games I've had in my, in my Steam. The other 25% don't work immediately. We have to figure why it's not working. And it's usually the older games, but if you're going to have those older games for sale, at least somewhere should say just for Windows 10 immediately in the very top. Or say this game's not compatible for your Windows. You know, because it's hard. You have to go down there and compatibility and all that stuff. But it, it made it so you can maybe buy it, but you can't download it. You know, because you have the correct Windows. And, and that's not always the case because even if it says Windows 10, it still doesn't work sometimes. It wouldn't boot up. And sometimes from these big AAA games, like, I had a uh, problem with Fallout 4, and when I first got the game, it wouldn't boot up. And I'm like, what's going on? It's not booting up. Then I have to go into this, to the actual uh, files, and I have to change a couple wordings on the note. Then it booted up. Man, that's crazy. I, they shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to worry about that. Mm. You know, It's cool that I can go in there and change that, but it, 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 that's what it needs to learn from consoles. It needs to learn to... Make it so that when someone sees a game on the market, rather it be Steam or GOG or anything like that, it needs to tell you, yes, you can play this game on, on, this, on this machine that you're playing right now. Yeah. And, and I'll say that, I'll say that is a, that's really what makes console gamers um, kind of stay, don't, like, I ain't going to say stay clear of PC because my whole thing is, the main reason why I am still primarily on console is because of the exclusives. You know what I mean? And I grew up with it, mm -hmm. but I will move. I jumped off of Xbox being a hardcore Xbox. Uh, like I was an X bot, man, you know, but now oh, I'm an X bot, you know, EX BOT. But like I said, you okay. know what I mean? Like seriously, you know what I'm saying? Like I would jump to whatever platform has the games and, sure. you know, exclusives, are really what's keeping me on PlayStation at least. But at the end of the day, a lot of consoles look at PC as this deep, 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 deep swimming pool. And you like, yeah. man, I got to know how to swim, you know, and, and I got yeah. I got to know how to swim if I'm going to dive in edgy. But on, and I'm not sure. saying console uh, platforms don't have any depth. I'm just saying when it, in comparison to PC, that's like an ocean. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's, it's, it's deep. And console gamers, they, they, we on the beach, you know, we swimming out to as yeah. much as we could go out, but we know we have that invisible line that we know we shouldn't cross because waves are going to catch us and bring us all over the place. But we in the beach, you know, we chilling. And then the PC, yeah. the PC, it, it intimidates a lot of console, you know, those PC problems versus console yeah. problems, but not and to, it takes us yeah, back go to ahead. that argument about the basic understanding of computers, the people who are just, are just illiterate to it. Yeah. And they exist. <laughs> they do exist. They do exist. I've met many of them. <laughs> yep, old and young. Yeah. Now, when you say exclusives on, on console, you can't you're talking about the type of exclusives you like, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely the talking quantities. about. I'm definitely talking about the the, the Sony exclusives um, that that, that, that I that I enjoy because PC okay. has millions of exclusives all right yep that's um, yeah yeah pc has a bunch of exclusives but I, I i had to throw in that because i wanted to make it clear that um you know i'm not that guy who stays away from pc because mm -hmm. because look you know i mean I, I i i'm fine with banging my head on the wall trying to figure something out because i know that'll be sure. me on a pc i was playing arc survival on pc trying to figure out why yeah. my rig wasn't running it right and banging yeah, my head across the wall, looking on farm posts. I say farm, 
you know, the, the internet <laughs> websites Forms. trying to find out how to fix the problem. And I was banging my head on the yeah. wall and I could never yeah. get it to, I, I could never get it to work. And those are PC problems that if you are a PC gamer, you have to, you have to be um, willing to deal with to to right. enjoy it and on console and it's not, not and, it, and it's not always just those those older games or the indie games it's also with the big triple a's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that giggles across the board anybody who says it doesn't are lying yeah i know and like you're yeah. telling the truth professor because like i said you know what i'm saying the pc problems are there and the console problems are there i think if if you choose your preferred platform you are basically saying I can deal with the problems that all over here and you don't okay. choose to go nowhere else because you like, I can deal with these problems. I don't want to deal with those problems because both platforms have problems, but you know, going to you, you're a hybrid man because you yeah. can deal with both console problems and PC problems. So I took yeah. my head off to you. Good, sir. But I don't want to make this video as long as it can be. I just wanted to really, just bring up this subject because it's a really interesting subject because you know you got the fanboys consoles versus pc this that and the other but i just think the understanding should be console gamers love console because like the problems that are on consoles they can deal with like you know how the pc gamer would throw over their head you got to play online you got to do this that and the other you can't control the power you can't change yeah. the settings you you 30 fps is unplayable like console yeah. gamers can deal with those problems because yeah. it doesn't bother them as much, but on PC, like they you got said, the simplicity, yeah. yeah, they like that simplicity. And on PC, you know, going to forum posters. I said it again. I sorry, I can't yeah. say the word. But uh, now, you know, we don't want to make it sound. We don't want to make it sound like every game is a problem. But no, 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 a not every game is a problem. A good handful of them. And then you start getting the problems, especially when you when you're considering all the. It's it, it, it's kind of like I said, it's a double-edged sword because mm -hmm. you have the you have the Intel and you have AMD, and then yeah. that is another set of problems on some games because yeah. now you got Nvidia who says, well, these games run a certain way and these games run, you know. Then you got to deal with that. So yeah, it's, you could go. I could go on here for hours. And We're not and doing that. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, you know, we ha we can ha we could deal with. I'm talking about primarily people, right? People who primarily pick the platform, whatever. We could deal with these problems. Right. And, and right in the comment section, do you have, do you, like, we're, we're being transparent here. You know what I'm saying? We're not yeah. saying advantages over which, it's, you know, which uh, platform or whatever. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We're just being transparent because at the end of the day, we're gamers. We shouldn't be, you know, tearing down each other. We should be transparent with each other because... I would not say there's not not there's no platform is better than the other. It's all about preference because literally I can I can love my Wii U and you can hate my Wii U. But to me, my Wii U is better than your PS4 It's better than your Xbox One Scorpio, whatever. Like yes. it's all about preference. It's really all it about all preference. The preference. Yep. Exactly. And what you like. So in the comment section, let, talk to us. PC problems versus console problems. Are you a console gamer? Or are you a PC gamer? Uh, did this conversation flamed you up? Are you mad at us now? But anyway, <laughs> oh, no. you know, right in the comment section, we would love to hear your thoughts and all that good stuff. Professor, thank you for joining me on this talk. No problem. Thank you for your time. Oh, man, thank you. Uh, and Always you're welcome. Pleasure, and my pleasure. But look, that was <laughs> Professor 8-Bit. His channel description well, his channel link will be in the description. Say bye to the people. All right. See you, everyone. Uh, and again, this is uh, Professor Abe. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, you can find me on Facebook and, of course, my channel. And until next time, Geekins, may the geek be with you. Man, let me say this about your outro. I've been looking at a lot of Star Wars <laughs> theory videos, like a lot of like Star Wars type thing. And, dude, you're outro like seriously dude <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like some of the guys i watch and it's so cool man it's it's awesome bro yeah i'm a star trekky star trekky i would say star wars um but <laughs> no, hey, i'm star trek over star wars trash okay eject off the podcast no i'm playing i'm playing yeah, no. No, I, I still watch the star, i still watch star wars it's entertainment it's it's, it's entertaining to me oh but uh, in the end of the day i'm i'm, uh, I'm star trek 
word. Hashtag Star Trek if you made it to the end. But that's all she wrote. <laughs> this has been Raw coming at you raw. Pieces. Laters. But going first, console problems. One big problem that's on the console that, that everybody know is the fact that the fact that you can't control where you want your power at. Like, seriously. Like, let's think about even 360, or PS3. These systems, prime, they, they basically were low down PCs, you know, scale down, water down, however way you want to call it, PCs. And But if you were able to turn off, like, shadow detail or graphic fidelity or resolution and, and put it all towards frame rate or whatever, what have you, if you were able to do that, each, each particular game was allowed, allowed you to do that, like, that right there you probably won't even upgrade a ps4 to be honest if you was able to do that on ps3 and xbox 360 